In phase control rectifiers, first thing we have to study is single phase half wave thyristor with R load. Here is a circuit of single phase half wave thyristor with R load. Here this is voltage source, this is thyristor and this is the resistance load. And this I0 is the load current and V0 is the output voltage. So, through waveforms we have to analyze this thyristor circuit. Okay. First we have to show the supply voltage as a waveform. Here V cells V cells is termed as supply voltage and it is a sinusoidal voltage. Okay, then we can express its waveform as this since it is sinusoidal. That is V S equal to V M sin omega t. Here we consider first positive half cycle of the supply. Here in this positive half cycle, what is the condition of Vt that is thyristor. When supply voltage is positive, this thyristor is forward bias. A thyristor have three modes: forward blocking mode, forward conduction mode, and reverse blocking mode. Here the voltage across Vt is forward bias voltage. So it is in forward bias condition, but it is not triggered yet. So it is in forward blocking state. Now if we apply a triggering pulse gate pulse here it will go into forward conduction mode at angle alpha we give trigger pulse so that the thyristor is goes into forward conduction mode when thyristor goes into forward conduction mode this thyristor acts as a short circuit so vs is directly applied across the output voltage so output voltage becomes equal to the supply voltage since this thyristor is short circuited since it is in conduction mode. The output voltage follows input voltage same as input voltage up to the point omega t equal to pi. But after pi what happens? After pi the voltage starts to get in the reverse polarity. Okay. Since reverse voltage applied across thyristor, thyristor gets turned off. That means this thyristor acts as a open circuit open circuit so the output voltage become zero since it is open circuited so pi to 2 pi the output voltage is zero but after 2 pi again the voltage across thyristor become forward bias since thyristor is not triggered yet it will be in forward blocking mode so up to 2 pi plus alpha the voltage across the output resistor is zero this process continues thyristor with R load. According to Ohm's law, current through resistor is I equal to V by R. Here V waveform is this V0 waveform. So I0 equal to V0 divided by R. The change in magnitude will occur. The waveform is same as V0. First waveform is voltage across thyristor Vt. So when thyristor is conducting, that is from alpha to pi, it acts as a short circuit. So from alpha to pi, the voltage is zero from 2 pi plus alpha to 3 pi also zero in other cases what will be the voltage that is we are going to look into from zero to alpha this thyristor act as a open circuit since it acts as an open circuit we can consider it as a infinite resistance so this become a voltage divider circuit with an infinite resistance so the applied voltage will full drop across this open circuited voltage that is voltage across Vt or voltage across thyristor Vt is same as Vs when it is open circuited so so we get voltage waveform of Vt as like this from 0 to alpha okay. from pi to 2 pi plus alpha also the thyristor is open circuited so same waveform of voltage source applied is followed. So we get voltage across Vt as like this. Okay. This is the waveform across the thyristor that is Vt. Supply waveform equation as Vs equal to Vm sin omega t. Here the triggering angle alpha or firing angle alpha we have magnitude V output as Vm sin in place of omega t we have to substitute alpha. So here the magnitude we get as Vm sin 
alpha. This is the magnitude at this point alpha. Now current at this point would be Vm sin alpha divided by r since i equal to v by r according to Ohm's law. Here Vt at alpha the same as the Vs voltage supply waveform so here also Vm sin alpha Vm sin alpha here also. Now we have to define some terms. The first term will be turn of time Tc. Tc equal to pi by omega. Okay. What is Tc? Tc is circuit time. Turn of time. Okay. It is defined as the time up to which this SCR is subjected to reverse voltage after the current through the thyristor becomes zero. Okay. Here at this point pi the current through the thyristor becomes zero. After this point this much time that is pi to 2 pi reverse voltage is applied. So net reverse voltage applied is 2 pi minus pi pi divided by omega we get the time up to which the reverse voltage is applied after the current through the thyristor that is I zero becomes zero that is turn of time. So here turn of time is Tc equal to pi by omega. Now we have to find average output voltage. We have equation for average output voltage as 1 by t integral 0 to t v of omega t d omega t. Here 0 to 2 pi we have a waveform. That waveform is repeated all the time. So here the time period of this waveform is 2 pi. So we can substitute t equal to 2, 2 pi so that we get k. So 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi v of omega t d omega t. Now we have to find the equation for voltage output voltage but we know from this graph the output voltage have no common equation from 0 to 2 pi 0 to alpha we have an equation alpha to pi we have an equation pi to 2 pi we have an equation so we have to split the integral so we can write output voltage as 1 by 2 pi integral 0 to alpha v of omega t d omega t plus alpha alpha to pi v of omega t d omega t pi to 2 pi v of omega t d omega t for these intervals we have to find equation for v of omega t from that graph we know that from 0 to alpha v of omega t is 0 from pi to 2 pi also v of omega t is 0 so we can write equation final equation of average voltage v0 as v0 equal to 1 by 2 pi integral alpha to pi vm sin omega t d omega t since v of omega t can be written as vm sin omega t so by integrating this we get integral of sin omega t is minus cos omega t from alpha to pi so that we get equation for average output voltage is vm by 2 pi into 1 plus cos alpha